Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my November favourites. I'm not sure if I did a favourites video last month, um, but basically this month I have been using so many new makeup slash skincare slash beauty products um, that I thought that it would be a really good idea to do this video today. Everything I'm going to be talking about is um, beauty related, so this is a beauty favourite for November. Um, yeah. I've had lots of exciting things going on in November, if you want to know any more then um, I'll leave a link down below to my blog post all about November so you can have a little read. But yeah, I've been loving makeup so much recently and um, I wanted to show you guys what I've been loving in this video. So I've got skincare, makeup and we're just going to get straight in before I blabble on anymore. I'm going to get started with makeup because we all know that's the most exciting bit and that's probably what you're all here to see. Um, you're here to see what makeup products I've been loving throughout the last month. So I've got a few bits um, to show you, most of which are MAC. I've been very into MAC makeup at the moment. Um, so yeah, the first thing is this product here which is actually a highlighter, I've got it on today, um, and it is the Pearl Cream Colour Base from MAC. It looks like this, it comes in a little pot um, and basically it's just like a creamy product you can use the color bases for quite a few different things um, but yeah I just like to use this as a highlighter I literally just like tap it onto the tops of my cheekbones and hopefully you can see it in this light um, but it's so gorgeous and I never really used to be a fan of cream highlighters um, I used to have another cream color base but it was a bit too dark for me so I picked up this one um, from Mac and I've just been loving it I think it looks so natural I definitely used to be such a powder highlighter girl but since trying this one here I'm definitely converted to cream highlighters obviously I still love powder ones but it's just so gorgeous and I just feel like it's a nice little change to have um, especially throughout winter when your skin can look a bit dull and dry anyway it's really nice to get a creamy product in there um, so yeah I've been wearing it literally every day since I got it and I am loving it uh, the next MAC product I've got is one of their blushes, this is in the shade Harmony, it's a matte blusher so there's no sparkle or shimmer in there at all, and as you can see it's quite an ash toned product, um, you might have heard people use this blusher for contouring, um, you're probably right, um, a lot of people do use this as more of like a bronzy contour shade rather than a blusher, um, and that is what I picked it up for, I wanted to get more of like a natural contour um, slash bronzer product um, because I feel like recently I've been looking a little bit too chiselled throughout the day. Um, I love my Kevin O'Quan sculpting powder and I always will um, but it is quite harsh on my skin. I've only just realised um, sometimes it can look a little bit too much so for winter I wanted something a little bit less kind of bronzy and a little bit more pinky and this is perfect. I've got it on today alongside a little bit of the Soap and Glory Solar Powder Bronzer um, because I didn't want to look too pink um, but yeah this is a really really great shade especially if you've got pale skin um, obviously it's good for tan skin as well it's just it suits all different skin types um, but yeah I've been loving using it just kind of along here as like a bit of a bronzy contoury blusher shade really really like it I've then got a foundation, um, I've had this one for quite a while now, this is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation, I've got this in the shade NC15, um, the first thing I would say about this foundation is that it definitely comes up a lot lighter than the shade says, so this is an NC15, if I picked up an NC15 in a studio fix I would look orange, um, so it's just a bit of trial and error, just if you're going to get it just get like a little sample first, or just make sure that it's the right shade for you before you get it because it could be wrong. Um, Anyway, enough about that. I love this foundation. Um, I have literally been wearing it every single day ever since I got it. Um, I try to switch up my foundations though because obviously I am a beauty blogger. I love makeup and I want to give you guys reviews, um, honest reviews about products that I like and dislike. Um, and if I just use one foundation or like one concealer all of the time then you guys are going to get a little bit bored on this channel. Um, you're not really going to want to watch my videos if I just talk about the same products all of the time. So I do try to switch it up as much as possible. I haven't got this on today. I've actually got the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint on today which I love as well. Um, um, yeah, this is the foundation I've been reaching for the most over the last month. It's such a gorgeous consistency. It's just like a liquid foundation. Um, it's really, really easy to blend in. It gives my skin such a flawless finish without feeling too heavy. Um, it's quite a full coverage. You can sheer it out a little bit, but I like to wear it quite full coverage. Um, and it is supposed to be waterproof. However, I went swimming yesterday and I wore this foundation and I definitely had none left on my face afterwards. But 
That's probably because um, I went swimming with Jordan and he ended up completely dunking me under the water, which was not fun. Um, so yeah, that's probably why it came off. If you like wore it and you went in the rain or something, I'm sure you'd be fine. Um, but going completely underwater, it doesn't stay on, but it's not going to, is it? Come on. Um, but I literally love it so much. It just makes my skin look amazing. It lasts throughout the whole day. I never need to powder when I've got it on and I've just just fallen in love with it. It's beaten studio fix now for me. Um, and yeah, it's just great. Just wanted to share it with you in case you didn't know it was available. Okay, I've then got a concealer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I mentioned this in a recent video. I think it was one of my makeup tutorials. Um, but basically, I had this concealer a really long time ago. I absolutely loved it, um, but it ran out pretty quickly and I didn't want to get a new one straight away because it's not the cheapest of concealers. So I started using up all my other concealers and then I realised that I needed this one in my life again, so I picked it up. Uh, I think at the beginning of November I think I picked this one up um, but yeah this is in the shade Fair Neutral which I think is the lightest or the second lightest shade um, I like to use this underneath my eyes I also use it on spots if I've got any when I'm not tanned because then it's a really good shade for me but underneath my eyes it's literally amazing um, it doesn't crease it lasts all day it really brightens up the underneath of my eyes and it just looks amazing like the texture of this concealer is incredible and I love to just like dab it in with my beauty blender that works Works really well for me um but yeah if you've never checked out this concealer honestly do it it's worth the money okay and the last makeup product i've got is the Too faced hangover primer i've mentioned this so many times on my channel so i'm sorry if you are bored of it um but i have just been using this so much recently it just works with my skin so well um it's one of my favorite primers i kind of picked this up on a little bit of a whim really i didn't really know much about it but i saw that a lot of youtubers used it so i thought i'm gonna buy it um and i'm so happy that i did it's honestly amazing it's kind of got a bit of a tacky consistency when it sinks into the skin um but at first it just feels like a moisturizer it smells like coconuts it's got coconut water in it, so obviously it's going to be really hydrating for your skin. It gets rid of any little fine lines I've got, or dehydration lines. And yeah, favourite primer at the moment. Okay, I've got two makeup brushes to talk to you about. The first one um, is one of the Eco Tools brushes, and it's the blusher brush. It looks like this. I don't actually use it for blusher, I just use it for powder all over my face because it's the perfect size. Um, but the last couple of days when I've used it, I've just kind of thought... I literally love this brush and it's one of my favourites and I feel like Eco Tools are quite underrated. Um, people don't really ever talk about Eco Tools brushes but I've got quite a few of them and they've all been amazing. When you wash them they don't molt which is like a big thing for me. I hate it when makeup brushes do that um, and it's so soft like oh my god it just feels so nice on my face yeah it just kind of covers my face with a really nice amount of powder it doesn't pick up too much product um it doesn't pick up no product it's just amazing and oh i just i just love it i don't really know what else to say about it apart from you need it in your life if you haven't got one and then the other brush is a Zoeva brush. This is the Lux All Over Shader. Um, it's quite a small brush, but then if you put it next to normal eyeshadow brushes, it's quite big. Um, it's just a really strange size, but I literally love it. And I keep thinking every time I use it that it's just so good for so many different things. You can use this kind of to blend out all of your eyeshadow. You can use it underneath your eyes for like concealer or powder. You could probably even use it for contour if you wanted or highlighter. Um, it's just a really, really lovely size. And it's a really nice feeling brush like it's quite fluffy it's not too dense um but yeah i just feel like this is a great brush to invest in because you can do so many different things with it okay i'm now going to move on to some skincare-y more kind of beauty kind of items um so the first one is this which is the pixie glow tonic you guys will probably have seen this product so many times if you watch youtube channels um or you kind of follow bloggers that kind of thing this is a very popular toner um and i've had it for a really long time now it's down to here it's taken me a while to fall in love with this product but i am definitely there now i feel like the more you use it the more it does for your skin um i had to use this for quite a while before i actually noticed any difference but now i love using it i just pop a little bit onto a cotton pad and swipe it over my face like a toner after i've cleansed i only do it once a day because it's quite a harsh um toner it's basically to remove any dead skin cells from your face without having to use a physical exfoliator um it's got the glycolic acid in it so it's just going to kind of exfoliate your skin without you really noticing but um definitely if you've got sensitive skin maybe 
be a little bit careful with this one. My skin's quite sensitive, but it seems to be okay with this. Um, it's got aloe vera in it as well, to obviously like calm your skin down at the same time. Um, but yeah, I just use this once a day. Sometimes I don't use it. Um, I just kind of use it every now and then and I feel like it just leaves my skin looking really bright and yeah I just really really like it. Okay next is some of the simple kind to eyes eye makeup remover pads. I picked these up quite a while ago I think I featured them in the haul video um, but basically I usually get the simple makeup wipes for all over my face just for when I'm staying at Jordan's house or if I'm staying over somewhere um, and I don't want to take my cleanser and stuff with me they're just easy um, I don't like using them but I do use them occasionally and I saw these in boots so I thought I'd pick them up and they are the eye makeup remover pads so they come out and it's kind of like a soaked cotton pad and you just use them to take off your eye makeup and they work amazingly I'm pretty sure these were really cheap um, and I just feel like they're really handy so I take these along with me use my um I use these to take off my eye makeup and probably my lipstick as well if I've got any lipstick on and then I will just use my cellar water and a cotton pad to get the rest of my face makeup off um or just a normal face wipe but it's just nice to have something separate for your eyes um and they definitely removed my makeup really really well so I was definitely impressed okay lastly I've got two products from Lush the first one is a shower gel and this is the rose jam shower gel it's only the little one because um, when I went to Lush for the Christmas event I got a few things afterwards um, and I picked up one of these because I couldn't leave the shop without one it's my all-time favorite shower gel um, but I just thought I'd get a little one in case I got any more for Christmas or I knew I'd probably be in the shop again soon so I just got a small one but I literally love this. I've got about half of the bottle left. Um, and I'm just making it last because it's just beautiful. Um, but I'm definitely going to get some more soon. And if you've never smelt this, please go into a Lush and give it a sniff. It's amazing. And the last product is also from Lush and this is the Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub. It's another product I picked up when I went to the Christmas Lush event. Um, and it's just amazing. It's just a lip scrub made of sugar. It smells like blackcurrant sweets. Tastes amazing gets rid of any dry skin on my lips and just makes them feel really nice so I thought I would feature this one in the video as well. Okay so thank you for watching this video, they were all of my beauty favourites throughout the month of November, I really hope that you enjoyed watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you did, also click the little subscribe button down below. Um, but yeah I hope you're all doing really really well. If you didn't already know, um, a couple of years ago I had three gerbils, they were girls and I loved them to bits um, and over the last kind of month or so I've been really thinking about getting some more, really really missed them and I just wanted to get some more, I miss having like a little pet to handle and it's just really cute. Um, so I've got two new gerbils and I was going to show you them in this video but they are asleep um, so if they're awake next time I film a video I will show you guys them um, but if you follow me on like snapchat and stuff you'll probably have seen them on there so if not follow me on snapchat my instagram twitter that kind of thing and you'll see pictures of them over there um, but yeah I will leave you guys to carry on with your days now and I'm gonna go carry on with mine and I will see you all again in another video in a couple of days goodbye